seen you around these parts, and I want to welcome all of you to my safe little corner of the internet. Now, my husband Callum and I went thrifting the other day, and I found something that I needed to show you, and it inspired this entire video. So, I'm going to take you thrifting for starters. We're going to go on a little adventure today. I got all dolled up for you, so <laughs> we're going to go out. Then, at the end of the video, I'm going to do a haul because I found a crystal clock at the thrift shop. But first, the thing that inspired this video, boots. <laughs> now, I know it probably sounds silly that boots inspired this video, but these babies were $300 boots. They are still on the website, so you can still get them. It's not like they're like old, crusty, dusty leather boots that have been sitting in someone's wardrobe. These are newbies. They had price tags on them. They had the box and I got them for $80. Now, $80, I would never, ever have spent that much money in my life. Uh, but when I tell you, these are a size smaller than I normally am. I didn't expect them to fit. I tried them on in the middle of the op shop and just like Cinderella, I had that moment where my sparkly dress all came together like, ah! they fit literally. <laughs> So I got them and they make me feel like I'm a little adventurer, like I'm meant to go off on a little magical quest. I also found this knit top. It makes me feel like I'm a little knight or a little peasant. I love it. And this little leather belt, it was $4 and it fits perfectly around my waist. I've been wearing it everywhere. So that's my outfit. That's what I'm going out in today. Plus my little vintage skirt. Let's go. I'm gonna put this shoe on. What do the TikTok people do? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> and with all that said and done, let's hit the road. Yesterday, there was sun and there was rain. Enough, like I Beauty in the mud. It's so industrial looking, but they've got like proper prices that are like $2 for jackets in winter, which is just so nice because they're a charity shop, not an antique shop. Yeah, and it's like all open. Look at all the nice breeze and good lighting. <laughs> I secured it. I secured the cargo. the goodies let's go home <laughs> and we're back I hope that you enjoyed having a look at my little op shops around my town now it's time for the haul have a look at the stuff that I got but I need to be so real with you I already filmed edited was just about to export the video and I went downstairs dropped my fucking hard drive and lost everything. Had a mental breakdown, collected myself, got everything back together uh, and refilmed. So what you're watching now is actually the second time that I have filmed this entire thing. I had to go out and re like go out on the town with you again, go to the op shops again. Uh, yeah, cause I lost the first time. <laughs> 
And so the haul though, I still have a few of the clips from the last haul. So that you're gonna see me in my cute little purple PJs in a red tartan top and now. Please enjoy this sliced and diced haul because I nearly lost my sanity doing this video. <laughs> Just a quick reminder that things between 20 and 99 years old are considered vintage and things that are over 100 years old are antiques. Please don't get mad at me. This is what the internet tells me and uh, I'm referring to everything as vintage. So sorry about it. Bye, love you. It is the next day and I was going to get like all dolled up and do my makeup to do the haul and then I'm like, no, we're family. It's all good. I can sit here in my little new winter uh, PJs that I got from Kmart and show you. I... I have to be honest, I feel like Grimace, you know, like the, um, <laughs> you know, the fat little purple creature from uh, McDonald's. They're like a matching set. I got this like way oversized, so it feels like an Udi. It's so warm. Last night I slept in it and I didn't even need a blanket. So anyway, very quickly gonna show you the clothes that I got. Number one, I got this tartan top, uh, which I'm wearing today because I love it. <laughs> I've, I've told you guys a million times that my ancestry is very, like Scottish and Irish and English. And so I love wearing tartan. It makes me feel, I don't know, just really connected with my ancestry. And speaking of, while we're talking about ancestry, you guys would have seen that I showed you a few little books that were in one of the op shops. So this one is The Magic of Ireland, Scotland, Myths and Legends. And I also have England, Myths and Legends. I got these three books, they're vintage books for $2, all three of them together. And as soon as I seen them, I just knew I had to get them because I really am trying to dive into a lot of ancestral uh, magic and also just in general, uh, connecting back with folklore and the legends where I'm from, you know? <laughs> There's actually even a little name and address inside one of the pages and it's dated 1982. So yeah, this book has been around for a little while and I'm really honored to be able to give a little space on my bookshelf for it. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to show you is this little red cardigan uh, and it is pure wool. It was made in Tasmania, which I feel like the universe is trying to send me a sign that I'm meant to live down there. As you guys know, I, I do dream of living in freezing cold Tassie. The next one I want to show you is this really unique little vest and it has on the label that it is leather and then crocheted uh, wool around it. And I just thought it was super unique. I've not really ever seen anything like this before. The next one I'm going to show you is this blouse that was made in Italy and it has beautiful detailing up the top all sort of like lace work uh, and I just think it gives me that sort of like academia vibe it, and yeah I just really liked the fit of it. I like it tied up. I wouldn't wear it as like a normal blouse like not tucked in sort of thing. Okay so I want to show you the crystal clock that I had in the thumbnail of this piece. So it is an agate slice vintage clock and it's a bit rusted on the hardware here, but uh, it's got a little battery at the back. It says that it works. They have tested it. Even if it didn't work, I would still hang it on my wall because it's so gorgeous. This cost $4 why I love thrifting. <laughs> These are the reason that I go. Things that are handmade or, you know, antique and vintage and one of a kind. And to find it for $4, I was like, thank you, op shop gods. And I mean, it's huge too. It is the size of my hand. But yes, you'll see this on my wall soon. She's home, my friends. Look at this beauty. I don't think I've ever been sort of flawed, you know, like stopped in my tracks when it comes to a painting at the thrift shop. I actually thought that this was a print to begin with. And then when I actually looked, I'm like, oh my God, that's a painting. Oh my God, that's beautiful. So here we have her, she's home. And then there's this one and it's been dated as 1996. Uh, so it's as old as my brother. <laughs> Isn't it so beautiful again? I kind of had to double take because I thought it was a print, but this one has so much texture to it. You can literally just see it like raised off of the canvas. I just am going to treasure it forever. <laughs> I am so in love with this. Now this next piece I got from the op shop in between the last op shop video and this one. So I didn't get it this trip, but I really want to show you it anyway. I found a statue of Lady Isis at the thrift shop. And I was so happy when I found her um, because I, at the time, 
had gone for a period where I really wasn't doing much work with Isis and this literally appeared kind of like three or four days after I started putting out the call that I wanted to work with her again. Uh, so it was just like the most divine timing. I think anyone who is pagan and has a deity that they work with or that they worship would understand the excitement of walking into a thrift shop and finding a statue, you know, of the god or of the goddess. So I was very, very happy with this. I did see a heap of vintage astrology mugs and I was going to get them, but I already had been purchasing so many things that day that I was like, no, Sam, just stop um, because I was going to sell them on my website and uh, share them with you guys. But I saw this one instead that I'm keeping for myself and it's kind of peed out a little bit, but there's like a mountain and this tree scape. Oh, I love it when I find vintage mugs. They make my heart really happy. Are you a mug person? Do you have vintage mugs? Do you have mismatched mugs? Because that is me. I have a massive collection of different mugs that I pick up from antique shops or thrift shops. Anything that's like cool that I feel like would join my little collection nicely. We need to start like a mug coven. <laughs> Mugs and sorcery. The mismatched mug gang. <laughs> Something also strange about me is that I collect vintage kids books. The first one is The Wind and the Willow. I love this sort of vintage illustration and quite honestly I think the main reason is because I want to live like they do in a little burrow under a tree you know with like the tree root growing around like that is what my peak aspiration in life is to do. To live in a burrow under a tree with a little fireplace and have my tea and crumpets you know. Just makes my my heart happy so I collect them these are some of the books that I have downstairs I love these ones this is the like a little elf story it is so sweet they collect dew off of flowers um, and then there's like Derby Downs ones which are like sort of rabbits so it's all those style of illustration I just really connect with this may seem like a strange one but it's this plaque and it has a little man with his pipe sitting reading a book by the fireplace with his wife and it's all in this like faux bronze kind of look uh, it's a little cat down here with a ball of yarn but the reason I got it was it reminded me so much of one of the units I did in my doll making course with Julia Inglis uh, where we worked with the archetype of like the cobbler and his wife and I don't know just when I seen it it instantly transported me to that time and place when I was doing it and so it feels oddly sentimental to me but though I just bought it <laughs> I did it. I got the Bless This Home cross stitch. Sometimes I just go to the thrift shop and I see something and it's radiating like love and good energy. And this was one of them. I see it, I was like, yeah, I do want blessings in my home. Uh, and my mother-in-law gave me this beautiful framed image that she's had for literally like 20 years. And it also says Bless This Home. So I feel like I want to put them like next to each other. So it's just like a little altar of radiating good energy. Bring some blessings into the home. I bought the little wood turned uh, trinket dish that I'll probably use for my doll making or whatever. I do collect sort of wood turned items. I assume this is camphor laurel, like uh, a lot of the pieces that I collect are. I really love sort of artisan things, things that people have spent a lot of time and love uh, creating and I like to kind of give it a new lease on life and have it in my home. I don't know if you're ready for me to tell you that I bought this outfit yet. <laughs> I bought the 80s outfit, guys. I do understand that I look like a rainbow vomited all over an 80s woman's wardrobe, but at the end of the day, I love everything about it. I love the big dang shoulder pads. Normally when I get shoulder pads, I wanna like cut them out. I'm over them, get rid of them. And I love the shoulder pads in this. I've been watching heaps of Sarah Camps and I think because she's so like authentic and just like herself and wears the most like maximalist wild vibes. Uh, when I seen this, I was like, I kind of like love that. I feel like she's definitely like inspiring me to just do me, you know? Like don't get me wrong, I still love my vintage vibes, but I forget sometimes that like uh vintage is also 80s and bright and colorful. We made it my friend. We made it to the end of this video. I don't know if you feel this has been uh, quite the journey that I feel this video has been, but let me tell you something 
that I have realized is how I deal with like crises and like uh, losing things. And uh, although I did have like a <gasps> moment and like, you know, had a mental breakdown and sobbed my eyes out immediately, like within five minutes, I like wrapped my shit up. I like got on with it. I'm like, okay, what can I do? What What's going on? I can refilm it tomorrow. Uh, and I think the biggest thing why it was so devastating is the video that I had edited that I was literally about to export and upload was my favorite that I've ever edited. It was like, I had all these little moments. I spent like, I'm talking probably like an entire week, like probably 30 hours of editing, um, putting in little memes and like all this different audio stuff. And it just like felt like this new thing that I was doing. So to have it like taken away and gone and then restart again, I think it just like showed me how like my determination of like, no, 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 we're going to fucking do this. I'm not going to let this break me. I feel like this is going to be one of those moments I look back at in like two or three years time. And like, remember when my hard drive shit itself when I was just about to press export, I like showed myself like how determined I am to do this. I feel really proud and I think this video is just to me a symbol of resilience of like no I'm not gonna like <laughs> fall apart and just give up on the project and just be like okay on to the next one. I actually felt like I couldn't. I was saying to Callum like what else could I film? What else could I do? And I just like was like no 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 I need to fucking finish this video like I need to. So uh, anyway with all that said and done love you all and uh, thank you for watching all the way to the end literally love you guys so much and i'll see you in the next video thanks for being here <laughs> bye oh my god you guys i must look so crazy in these videos just like walking back and forth from my car all the time like i walk into the op shop i turn around and i walk straight back the things that i do to make these videos look kind of cool and aesthetic oh my god so embarrassing